Hello, this is Cato Hobbs, and today I'm going to show you how we make wheatgrass juice at our house using a blender. First of all, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut a wheatgrass and place it into a big bowl. In a few minutes, when I get it all cut, I'll take it in and show you how we cut it up and blend it and then strain it to make our wheatgrass juice. Okay, our next step is to take the wheatgrass and place it on the cutting board. And I did uh, rinse and drain it. But after we've got it on the cutting board, carefully cut it into half to three quarter inch strips. If you don't do this, and you just throw it in the blender, you'll end up with quite a mess. The blender will try to make rope out of the fibers of your wheatgrass, and it'll kick juice all over, but not cut the wheatgrass. Now please be careful when you do this, and keep your fingers away from the knife. Cut up all your fibers. Color about a half inch to three quarters of an inch long. And after you've done that, make sure you've got your cold water in the blender. In this case, I've got about three and a quarter cups. I think that should be plenty. We'll put it on there. Place our wheatgrass in the blender. Put the lid on. Blend it up. First on low, first on low, and then on high. And after we've done that, we'll strain it with this strainer into our uh, into a big bowl or a pitcher, yes, pitcher, and it'll be ready to drink. Well, this is a nice two-quart pitcher. We can do it right here. I'm just going to let that drain a minute <clears throat> so that all the juice goes through and all I'm left with on in the strainer is foam and fiber. Now that's all there is to it. I'm ready to drink. My uh, wheatgrass juice and water. Ah, very good. Have a good day.